What's up everybody, this is Alex. I just had a couple of minutes, so I wanted to take time to show you guys a new thing that I just picked up, MP3 player that you might like. So I want to give you a little review. This is the Sands of Fuse MP3 player. This is a four gigabyte version. There's a two gigabyte, a four gigabyte, and an eight gig. The cool thing, it's also expandable because it's got a slot for a micro SD or SDHC card where you can put in and expand it to a, as big of a card you can fit in there. Um, I'll turn this on for you guys. You can check it out. It retails for about $99, $20 more than the new iPod Shuffle. And you can check it out. It is a video screen on there. Check it out. It also comes with a radio, unlike the iPod. It's got a little button here. Go straight to home. Now, one thing that you might like this is the black version. There's a, let me see, black, pink, red, blue, and silver version that you can pick up. So there's cool different colors you can uh, choose from. You got a couple of different options, and to move around through the menu, you have a little scroll wheel just like the iPod, only this wheel actually spins around. Now, check out. You get the standard option of playing music, but then you also get video. Let me see, I'll scroll the right way. Video, pictures, radio, microphone, which I'll get into in just a minute, and just the regular settings. Now, if you go ahead and look at the music, I got, let's see, play all. It'll give you pictures on there, stuff that comes up. I got some ZZ Top backing tracks I'd like to jam to. Uh, that's one of the preloaded ones. It actually does come with a couple of preloaded songs and a video on there just to give you an idea of how everything goes. But let's go into the cool stuff, the video. Uh, I actually took the time and uh, loaded up an episode of... Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Now the thing is with the video you do have to convert video into it. Uh, I ripped it from the DVD. Uh, it comes with a little CD you can see here. So if you have a uh, laptop like I have my MacBook or any other laptop where you accept to slide it in and it picks it up instead of a tray you're pretty much screwed and this becomes <coughs> useless. Uh, so you have to go and download it. It's a copy of Rhapsody. I don't need it. Anyway, to convert the video, you can actually go to the website and download it. It's about 20 megabytes, a small little program. If you have the video, you have this plugged in. When you convert the video, it'll automatically get put in. So it's pretty cool. It's a little convenient thing that they they have set up. Um, let's go back the photos. There's also some preloaded pictures here, so I'll show them to you. Like I said, the quality of the video, given the small size, is actually pretty decent. Um, you know, if for a hundred dollars, ninety nine dollars, this is awesome. This is great. This is good to keep you occupied if you're on a train, small plane ride, something like that. Uh, if you're on a on a, a small little car trip and you are trying to ignore the driver, or anybody else, make sure you know watch a video when you're driving. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty decent. Um, here comes the new stuff: the FM radio. There's up to forty presets that you can do, and you can just hit down on the button on the right so it's clickable and you can just go up and down now check this out if you if I can do this right from this angle if you look at it you get the audio presets and you get the option to record the audio you can record the radio so as long as you have the signal you will have a pretty decent quality recording and you can always download it off of this onto your computer now be careful don't put something out there online just because you listen on the radio that is illegal but for your own use it's great record new songs you might hear the top 40 song you might like if you check out all the new jams every day and you want to listen to it later on during the day without having to listen to all the commercials it's pretty cool um, now speaking of recording one of my favorite options in this which I really wish and I've been waiting forever for Mac to do it but they have yet to do it is voice recording there's actually a little microphone right here next to the SDHC slot right here you see mic you can record live audio whether it's a lecture whether it's you talking singing or if you're trying to spy on someone and get some you know some blackmail material this is pretty good um, the quality is great given the size of this item and this mp3 player the microphone is actually really really good so if you are playing guitar, if you're singing, you just come up with a new riff or a lyric or something like that, and you don't really have anything to write it down, you just have this, there you go. Um, I like it. Uh, you know, uh, it's definitely a lot of times where I might be jamming and I don't, 
I'm not in the studio. I don't have a little personal recording device. I just jump onto this and play, even though it's acoustic, or if I have the amp, I'm just go on, record onto it, and then write it down later on. So it's pretty cool. It's a very good feature if you are in school and you want to listen to a lecture, if you want to pass out during the lecture, click, take a nap. So definitely check it out. $99 color video it's not that big but the audio files are pretty cool I have it up here it's mp3 OGG FLAC WMA secure WMA wave and mp4 a different type of format of audio you can play and I really like the fact that it plays FLAC audio since it is a higher quality type of audio that you can rip from CD so if you're not an mp3 fan or mp4 fan you like something that's even better quality FLAC is the way to go um, go check it out. Retails for $99. Uh, they uh, advertise the battery life to be 24 hours if you just listen to music and 5 hours if you're watching video straight. Uh, usually it's not the case anytime I've ever seen it, but I think you'll dig it. So go ahead and check it out and let me know what you think. Make sure you check out the blog at www.guitarforhire with the number 4.blogspot.com. That's G U I T A R 4. H I R E dot blogspot dot com and uh, send me emails, questions, concerns, anything you might like to hear from me, and uh, I'll check you guys later on. Take care.